。作为世界娱乐中心，洛杉矶不仅把好莱坞文化成功推向全世界，同时对音乐家而言，这里也是创作的天堂。无论是嘻哈音乐、重金属、拉丁乐，或者是古典音乐，在洛杉矶总能找到您喜欢的音乐类型。有很多大牌的歌星也都是从洛杉矶起家的哦，包括 M.I.A、No Doubt、Snoop Dogg， 还有 Dr. Dre 等等。I'm sitting inside a music studio with a great composer. He is from Los Angeles and is one of the most famous music composer in Hollywood and Asian cinema. He has written music for Jackie Chan movies, Steven Spielberg documentaries, and animated films for major studios in Hollywood. So I think you must be curious of who he is. He is Nathan Wong. Yay! Yeah, I'm so <laughs> glad to see you here, Nathan. Nice to see you. Yeah, and I think it's really an interesting、uh, music studio here. I'm so excited. Thank you, thank. You. So this is the place you work for most of the films. That's right. As you mentioned, the Jackie Chan、uh, movies, the Steven Spielberg documentaries—they all start here. And if we need to add orchestra or something else,、uh, we do that. But it always starts right here. 在洛杉矶出生长大的王宗贤，从小就受到音乐的熏陶，并且拥有过人的音乐天赋。It being a very creative town, it's extremely creative. No matter where you go, every night there's something happening. People don't think of Los Angeles as being so,、um, so gifted in terms of music, but because of all the talent that comes into Hollywood because of、uh, the movies, there's some wonderful, wonderful musicians out there. 王宗贤作曲风格多变，游走于中西文化之间。I've done so many, so many movies and and films because it all breaks down into categories like、uh, animation. I've done a lot of animated shows, a lot of、um, uh, dramatic shows and action, and that's what's so much fun about being a film composer. You're not always doing the same thing every day. You are composing music, which is creative,、mm -hmm. but it's so much fun going from one genre to another. You know, to cartoons, to comedy. I grew up in a town called Polena in the Carpathian Mountains. It was a small town of two main streets. This leads all the way up to there is a church. A film you recently、uh, composed music for is a Jackie Chan film called Chinese Zodiac. Yes,、yeah. yes, yes. That's was... a really fun movie. It's a fun movie. It's it's typical Jackie, and he's he's a very interesting guy. He will、mm -hmm. always say that I don't know anything about music, but he always has an opinion about <laughs> music. You know, and 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 you want to work with people like that. Do you have to create something special for all the action scene and everything to make it more interesting? What I like to do with a lot of films, especially Jackie's, is that、uh, I like to take a theme and be able to have it sort of、um, be continuous throughout the entire movie. Whether it's there's a romantic part or whether there's a tragic part, if it's since it's Jackie and he's the star, I like to try to use that theme and go throughout in the entire movie and be able to kind of. Um, make variations of that one theme and be able to have it go throughout and change. You know, even though the scenes are very different. I feel myself very lucky to have worked with Wang Lihong、uh, because he called me, I think, back in 2009. Uh, to work on his film after he saw my music、uh, being used in Fei Shang Wan Mei in the Zhang Ziyi Sophie's Revenge、uh, movie, which I, apparently he really liked the music, so he called me and said, "Would you like to work on my movie?" In our poor country, the Xiang is the best movie. The sound of a bird is the best music. Let's see. This is the Emmy that I won in 2010 for Best Documentary. Oh my God! This is the first time I've ever seen an Emmy Award statue in my life. So is this heavy? It's pretty heavy. Would you like to hold it? Yes, I can't <laughs> believe I'm holding this. I'm so excited. So, were you excited when you received Emmy Award? Very much. It's because of what it stands for, and it stands for、uh, the recognition that my peers give me 
And because I'm a music composer, it means that the people who do exactly the same thing here in Hollywood like what I do, and that's very, very heartwarming. And that it's coming from other music composers makes it very, very special to me. I heard a story about you around three years old in the bathroom, and that's how your mother <laughs> finds your talent, right? Yes, my mother was playing um, playing the piano in the living room, and she put me in the bathtub, you know, with six inches of water. I think I was like maybe three years old. Very, I couldn't even stand. And I heard my mother play Bach, and I crawled out of the bathtub and went over and played the wrong, I said, the, you're playing the wrong note, and I think I played the whole thing immediately. So when you were three, you will be able to tell like what's wrong in the music. Yes. And that was three. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. 作为一种电影语言,电影配乐已经不仅仅是伴奏,更像是导演欲说还修的潜台词。那在刚刚听过王宗贤为我们讲述他和成龙以及王力宏的合作之后,下次如果您在欣赏十二生肖以及恋爱